Welcome back to Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. Today we are working another episode of doing our junk journals. We frou-frouwed up the uh, book covers um, out of cereal boxes and fabric and double adhesive for fabric. And we've made some uh, signatures that we're now going to put inside of the journals using some uh, beautiful ribbon choices or twine choices. And then I have my crocodile, uh, which is going to help us with the hole patches and the um, the completion of the signatures. All right, so let's get working. Okay, and where to start first? Uh, first of all, we had some corners on this one that I think we will round off. And we could use a punch. We could use anything we wanted, but I have the handy dandy paper scissors handy. So we're gonna cut that cardboard and fabric and just round off that corner so where it is not protruding out and in our way. We're gonna go around all four corners and just trim off the uh, little excess that pops out there because there's no need to have a uh, corners because we want our junk journals to be huggable, lovable, and uh, not worry about any structure. So here we have the basic shape. What is a signature? A signature is a uh, group of papers that we're going to put inside of the book. And because this one is thick, I thought we would use three or four in here. And I have put approximately uh, 12 uh, sheets of paper in each. And looking at it, I can tell that it only half fills it up. So I think we're going to go ahead and combine some of these journals together to where I have um, more paper in there because I do want to keep with the three spines um, that will poke in the back, but I want this journal to be completely full and, and wonderful. So let's go ahead and combine some of these. And by combining, I can look and see what I like and I can just put them together. And when I say put them together is I can open them up to the very center page and I can add a completely another one, which makes it uh, very, very thick. We can trim off any excess sides if we want to make it all plumb, or we can simply take the longest piece out of here and put it on the outside of our junk journal and the smaller ones to the inside of our junk journal. And that way it's more complete, it's more inside um, of our signature. So let's go ahead and plump this one up as well and see how we want to do this. And again, some of these are longer. We'll just take the longer pieces and put them towards the outside of the junk journal. And then we want to flip through these, make sure they're all upright that I didn't even think about. Um, so let's flip through, this is upside down. So let's see if the rest is upright, that we're comfortable um, combining the journal with any writing or designs, um, perpendicular or the way that we want. Uh, this guy's got a head upside down, so let's turn him right side up. Not that the head is ever going to show, because we're, we're likely to change that. Um, but this puts the words straight up and down. Okay, I think we are good with the way this one is now. So this one's perfect. Let's go back through this one real quick to make sure everything is up and down properly. Um, pockets are on the lower side. Any designs on the pages we're okay with. And that pocket is upside down. Let's turn it right side up. Okay, that looks beautiful. So I'm good with two signatures. And with these two signatures, we can add pages, we can take out pages, but that's looking so much more chunky junky. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take two more signatures and see if we want to uh, add to them. And this is the up and down. Let's take some more. Put 
them in there. Now let's see how this is looking. Oh my goodness, that's maybe almost even too full. What do we think? Um, so again, it's just a uh, playing with it, seeing what you like, making that journal um, right. And let's go ahead and uh, let that one aside because I like it, but we'll come back and decide for sure. And we're going to take the second one and see what three of these look like inside of it. And... I don't know, a little bit thicker, but not a whole lot. So let's take um, maybe one of these and we'll split it up and put it in a couple of these. So let's make sure they're upright. Make sure all my pockets are upright. Pockets don't make sense if they're upside down. I can't hold stuff, right? All right, Oop, don't need that in there. There we go, pockets upright. Looking good. Okay, so let's go ahead and stuff some of these in there. Okay, so I think I like that one. So we're going to go ahead and set this one aside. And work on the next. And welcome back. We are going to go ahead and take two of our journals where we have uh, filled it with our three signatures, one, two, three of our paper. And we're going to bind each into the book. So I wanted to go ahead and set these two on the table and go ahead and do those for you today. We're gonna do all the others just the same. So we want to uh, make sure that they're upright. Uh, did I turn it upside down? No, it's still upright. And that we're comfortable with the inside and the outside of our cover before we go ahead and do this. And then we want to just take and decide which color we want to use. Now I can use white because of the white lace. I can use the twine because I think the twine color will look really great with this uh, cover, this rustic green, real simple, pure cover. And the green I think is too bright. Pinks and blue do not work. Um, so I'm down to the brown look or the white. And honestly, I think I'm gonna go with the white lace because I wanted to try the ribbon as being a binding. I've used the twine a lot, as you know, but let's go ahead and see if, if indeed I can use the lace. Now this lace, let me see if I can get the beginning here to start, is a, a very thin, probably a quarter inch. Let's see if I can read on it and it says, it's a quarter inch by 10 yards in this nice spool. Um, so we're going to see, we've got a needle that is large enough, I think, I think, I think, I think, for the lace to go through. And it looks like I got sticky on my needle. Um, but see, the, the lace does, or the ribbon does go through my needle. So we're gonna go ahead and use this piece. And I usually like it three and a half lengths of, of the up and down of the book. But now what I wanna do is kind of measure out. You can measure out with a ruler. You can be precise and put your puncture holes in here. And I want three spines. So I want one, two, three holes here and three holes, one, two, three on the bottom because I've got the book upside down. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna put it in the crocodile. We're gonna turn the crocodile to the hole punch that we want. And we're gonna go ahead and stick it back here is is um, for our brads. Um, are they brads? Brads, I think they're called brads. I'm losing my mind. And this is for the hole punch back here. So we're gonna come back here to this and we're gonna punch three holes in it, having it upright, making sure the lace is out of the way and we know where our sides are. And we're gonna go ahead and punch three holes across. I'm using the smallest punch that I have and I'm getting comfortable where, with where that is. And I'm taking it one, two, three. And I have three holes across. I don't know if you can see through that um, like I can. We can cut off the uh, frac uh, 
the scraps here. Um, because it is fabric, it is going to uh, fray a little bit there. And then we're going to take it down on the other side. And we're going to do it approximately the same exact places. Uh, the same equidistance from the bottom of the book that those were from the top of the book. Okay, so I have my three holes on the top. I have my three holes on the bottom. Pure and simple, very unique. Not unique, I'm just reading the words, it's fun. Okay, so we have that started. Now we want to hole punch in these. So with these, I usually use a pencil and just tack on the, the part that has the holes. So if we're going to put this in here, I've got my ink pen. I just lay it where I want to have it. And then I'm going to mark here and here where I want my equidistance of my hole punch. We're going to open this up to the very center page. And we're just going to simply put this in there upright so I can see my dots. And we're going to punch right on that marking. And you may have to stand up and push that down if you have too many pages. And that's another reason why I uh, don't like a million pages per signature. I'd rather go with three signatures instead of two, just because of the weight of the paper. Now maybe you can see through there that I have the holes punched. And we're gonna simply take our twine, lay this out, and we're going to put our pages in. Make sure it doesn't move too much on us like I just did. And put it in the last hole. Now you can raise up the paper from the spine and put that in. Pull those lace and ribbons through. And then I'm going to leave a long enough string. Don't need quite that much but long enough string because I like to dangle it below the page to where then you can add beads or little decorations on that and that makes it fun. And we're gonna try and tie it as tight as we can. And again, some people cut this off, some people leave it for a bookmark. I like it um, to add little beads and stuff which still lets you use it for a bookmark. And this one is much longer than I usually like but we'll leave that and then decide later. So right now we have our first signature in our book, and we're gonna go ahead and put the second and the third in. So we're gonna take our second signature, we're gonna line it up, we're gonna have it even with its first partner, we're gonna take our pen, mark it right where the hole is on that edge, so we get it lined up perfectly, going to bring this over to our hole punch upside right. Make sure our pockets are still upside right. Yep. And we're going to punch it right on those holes. And before you punch it, you can make that hole punch come out so you know you're covering exactly that hole. We're going to punch that, turn it around, make sure we're lined up right on that hole. Whoopsie. There we go. And hold on to that. And I didn't thread my needle again, so let's go ahead and do that while holding this. Um, you can also use clamps on my bigger books. I like using clamps so it does not come undone or the holes move to where I've got to uh, resort out all of the pages before I can put them on. All right, so we have this one. And we're going to make sure we know where the pockets are. Make sure we put this book upright and not upside down. And we just simply stick our needle through one of our holes. Come make sure you're at the center hole. Just makes it easier to do it in order. Pull our yarn through. Don't need it quite that long. And then we're gonna put it through the second hole. Pull our papers forward, see our hole. 
and I need to move the camera over here closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing because I think that's going to make it easier. So bear with me just a second. We're going to do the next binding book with you up here close to me so you know exactly how I'm doing it, where I'm doing it, etc. All right, so we don't need as long of a tail as I've got, but we made the first one long so it doesn't hurt because we can trim them off or whoever is going to journal in this book can trim them off if they don't want them there. Okay, we're going to hold that tight. We're going to make our knot. And again, when you're using a larger journal, um, this is a trickier part um, because you want to uh, weave that in and out of three different holes, and that was not tight enough. So I need to take that apart and redo it. But let's trim, and let's go ahead and do our third signature here and we're going to put this one into the last two holes and then we'll bring the camera closer so you can see exactly how i'm doing it close up making sure my pockets are in the right directions and let's line this up with where i have the previous holes and the previous book bindings open this up in the center so I can see exactly where I've made my two marks. I'm going to punch exactly on those two marks. Uh oh, moved it a little bit. Don't like doing that when I move it. Shucks. Okay. And we've got our two holes. And once again, we did not thread our needle, so let's thread our needle. And again, I am using a very large uh, needle. As you can see, this quarter inch is able to go through it. So the hole on this is just over a quarter inch. Um, so I don't know if they call this a yarn needle or what, uh, embroidery thread needle. Um, it is a crafting needle, not, not technically a sewing needle. And we're gonna put, okay, which is upright? This is upright. And do a double check to make sure your pockets are going upright. And then we're gonna put them in the book. And bring that through. Come back up our last punched hole that we have here. And we got the paper slightly out of order, so I'm just gonna feel around with that needle and get that needle through all of my pages and pull that through. And then that's, again, more, more than I need of ribbon. And we're gonna take our needle off, tie this up. We want to hold it very tight. So if you know a way of not using my finger or somebody else's to tie a simple, simple knot, give me an idea down in the comments and uh, that way will help me out. And cause I made that one too loose, I gotta redo it again. All right, so now our beautiful little book, the signatures, one, two, three signatures are done and they're beautiful. I have this um, ribbon hanging down below. Ah, it almost looks, instead of being like boho chic, it looks um, kind of like a, a wedding journal now, something you would hold, because I'm using the white ribbon with a white lace. Um, tell me what you think down in the comments. I'm really loving this, but we've got this beautiful junk journal. Um, you can use this as a travel journal, a sticker book, everywhere you go. Um, sometimes you go to the national parks, they've got that stamp and they'll have the separate little book. Uh, 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 pull out your travel journal, have them stamp your book and then write about it. What was your day's experience? What was the best part? What do you want to share? What photos did you take? Um, so these are absolutely great, great, great. And let me go ahead and bring you closer over here to the table so we can do this other one with you close up so you can see it in a different angle and uh, really get a feel for what, what we're doing. Ah. 
Okay, so we have our first junk journal completed with its three signatures. One, two, three. And we're yet to uh, decorate it and seal up those pockets, but I am pretty excited about what we have so far. So let's go ahead and show you up close how we do it. And we're gonna take our other one where we have our three signatures with our pockets, where we have pockets, they're upright so they can be fully taken advantage of. We'll close those up later. We have our journal. We've decided I want this as my front. I'm happy with the inside. I'm happy with the outside. And we're gonna go ahead and punch our holes and do our signature. So we have our needle. I wanted to show you that a little bit closer so you can see just how big that hole is. And when we take our quarter inch, see if I can work through the camera and show you this. When we take our quarter inch ribbon and put it through, it fits. So that is a, a nice size hole in that needle. Okay. So let's go ahead, bring this over to the punch. We're gonna turn it upright. I'm gonna do one, two, three on the bottom. I'm gonna do one, two, three on the top. And if we see our crocodile, we're using the small hole punch here. And looks like I bled my finger there, so I apologize. It is dry, won't get on anything. So let's go ahead and do our three holes uh, let's see if you can see those three holes where I'm going to punch in the back of that spine. Okay, so we have one, two, and we're pressing down three through that cardboard so you can see my three hole punch. And like I said, sometimes if phrase a bit here, if that bothers you, you can scratch it away, you can trim those threads, whatever you like. And now we're gonna flip it over and do my three over here. And I apologize about my finger, I didn't know I had it broken to the cuticle. One, two, and three. And we have lovely, lovely, our three holes. And again, you can just trim off the threads if you so choose. So they're not bothering you or in the way, does not matter. But we can see through our six holes and we're gonna go ahead and turn our journal upright. We're gonna grab our first signature, our first grouping of papers. Make sure that all of the writing and the pockets are facing the correct direction. And then we're going to put it in here. We're going to, let me see if I can get you a little bit lower to see this. We're gonna line up these holes and we're gonna use our ink pen. And right where our holes are, we're gonna put that mark right here with the holes, right here with the hole. And then we're gonna take our signature. We're gonna open it back up in the center and we see exactly where we have our punches, our holes to be punched. We're gonna bring it over here and we're gonna stick it into the crocodile and punch these holes. And give me just one signature and we will change the view of the camera again so you can see it a little bit better. Double check that I didn't turn it upside wrong and my pockets were. So let's get it in here. We're gonna choose, we've got it through the spine here. We're gonna choose the first hole and we're gonna put it through. We're gonna pull it through here. Come back over here, make sure we're in the farthest hole. We're gonna put our needle up through there and we're gonna find our hole on our paper signature and put it right through there, bring it through, and then we're gonna simply tie off the ribbon. So let me, we did the first one long, let's do this one long as well. Maybe not quite that long. Take our needle off, make sure our twines are about as long we can always trim them off. Again, leaving them very long lets us have the opportunity to add beading 
or charms um, to them, which adds value and maybe the uh, personal touch to the junk journal that, uh, that we want to add. Okay, so we have our first signature on, our first signature tied. Those strings go towards the bottom. We have it right in the center, and I am very, very happy with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the second and the third. I'm gonna rearrange the camera so you can see just a little bit better, I'm hoping. Okay, let's see if that angle is any better. And we have, so let's go ahead and thread our needle with our quarter inch white ribbon. And we have that thread. We're gonna take our second signature. Whoops, that's two and three. So we're gonna take our second signature we're going to make sure our pockets are upright if we have pockets, and they are. And then scrunch them together nicely. Put them in the book. Twist it around. Use our ink pen to show exactly where those holes are. Right there. And here's our other hole right here. These marks are never going to show, so you can make them bigger if you need. Because they're in the back spine and they're closed up in there. Um, and again, with our paper, I'm sure, our, or I hope you've watched those tutorials. We used uh, magazines, we used uh, mail, we used, I think even a travel brochure in there that was from like 21 or something. And uh, so that is always nice. Turn it back upright, put it in put our needle through the brochure, and then we want to come out through the second hole. And we're through our second hole. You can go from the top, you can go from the bottom, it does not matter. We're in our second hole, find our hole on our paper, come through that, and then we simply tie it off in the center. And uh, I'm only showing you two of these junk journals, they're all done the same. And uh, if you want me to, I can put all the others on video as well because they're fun to watch, fun to play with. Um, but I think that some people might not like sitting with me for a whole day. <laughs> okay, so our finger is down. We're going to go ahead and wrap this twine around because I don't have a third hand to do this. And uh, using my teeth on camera is just not... Not a good idea. So if anybody else has a good way of tying these knots and making them a nice with only one person, uh, with only two hands, tell me in the comments. I, I need to know, I want to know. And see, you see my holes are a little bit off. I don't think you're gonna see this in the final product, but I have one hole here, one hole over here. This one is almost on the corner, but it's not. But I think that's gonna be fine. Again, these are junk journals. These are wonderful. Please, please, please make them for yourself. If you do not want to make them, there's lots of people on Etsy selling these. Um, mine, I am not currently um, selling on Etsy just because um, I travel a lot and it's not fair to you not getting the product right out. So I am not selling them, but there's lots of people on Etsy right now. And they are selling their wares. They would love to hear from you and you can purchase from them on Etsy, or simply follow my tutorials. Let's make some of these together. And uh, eventually I'll have um, probably three to four hour tutorials where you can sit with me all day and create a project. But right now, just watch me twice. How's that? Just put that video on while you are creating it. Fast forward, rewind, use this video as a class, and in the future I will have a lot more where I'll be making like eight at a time instead of the two, but I think when I make more than two, it really takes up a, a good span of the day, and I'd rather you be creating and living the best life you have. Okay, so we did not thread our... Needle, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, rock and roll. And we're gonna put it, this is the bottom. We're gonna put our needle through there. We're gonna come over to our hole, put our needle through there. 
And again, I know you can't see every part of this, but I hope when I, I do it multiple times, um, you get a comfortable understanding of what I'm doing, how I'm doing. And if you watch me more than once, um, it might give you a better feel for uh, creating these as well. And I'm hoping it's given you the uh, courage as well as the uh, know-how to go ahead and have fun, play. Life is all about work. Make it play, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and trim off some ribbon. Doesn't really matter exactly what size. And we're gonna tie this up. And I've used white uh, ribbon here or lace for these journals just because they're white. Um, if I go ahead and pop a couple more online, I'll show you where I'm using the pink and the blue ribbon. And if you go back through um, my videos, um, you'll know that I usually use twine. And you can buy twine in different strengths. The weakest twine that does rip on you, please, please, please don't use yarn or twine that's going to rip because that's not good fun. All right, look at this rock and roll. And we can do magic to these to where they're never up on the page if you don't want them up on the page. Um, but I'm thinking this is scrumptious. I love this. I've used tie-dye and tea-stained papers, which you've seen me do on my videos. I've used little doilies. I've upcycled and recycled using magazines and travel brochures and junk mail. Um, so again, recycle, upcycle what you can um, so you're not worried about um, spending money on, on new papers. And I always tell you when you have a little bit of chunk change in your pocket um, and you get to go into a craft store, only buy what's on sale. Only buy what's on clearance. If you need something um, really, really bad, I understand. But again, if you use your money on the sale and the clearance items, um, that's when to really shop and get what you need. But don't buy more than you need. Nobody wants to store that stuff. All right, I hope you have enjoyed my quick tutorial, and I am going to walk back over to my ribbon and lace and find a nice piece of uh, ribbon or lace to tie around these uh, journals so you can see them completed. Yay! Thank you, my friends. Okay, so let's play with the idea of what do we want to wrap around our junk journals. Do we want it to be a simple lace, which I love? Uh, does the green match the backing? Or do I want to go with yellow flowers or perhaps this beautiful twine? Hmm. Okay, so I think I have decided I'm going to go with this yellow on one and I'm going to go with this lace on one. So we're going to go ahead and take the end of this lace. We're just going to pop it through these three lines on the back to hold it so it doesn't get separated when we untie the journal and we're writing in it. Um, so if I can... Uh, real quickly put it through here okay and that way it won't come off we just simply put it in the middle of the junk journal make it about the same length on both sides and then we're going to tie it. So we can untie this, retie this, use it however we want. We're gonna put a big bow on the front. But that way if we go to a craft market or a Christmas market and we wanna sell a few of these journals, the outside cover doesn't get lost when they untie it and look through your junk journal. All right, so there is a very pretty one. And now, let's see, I'm thinking this is a long enough lace uh, piece of leftover that I can use for this um, tie. I wanna make it approximately the same length. And then we're gonna tie this around the book. And I do like grabbing a hold of each other. Ah! 
Let's make it a little bit tighter, shall we? These are not as user-friendly to tie. Hmm, I'm wondering, should we just go ahead and sew these on the outside of the journal? I'm thinking more of that. Let's go ahead and use the same tie we used on this, and then let's take this one, and we're gonna sew a few of these yellow beautiful daisies, I think they're daisies, across the top of this journal just for some added frou-frou. I love it. What do you think? And again, thank you for joining Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. Please subscribe so you don't miss an upcoming tutorial. And I am so excited. And I'll show you the other journals in some upcoming shorts. And uh, I love it. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.